Okay, folks, this is David with Streaming Relativity, home of the Astro DNA Observatory. So we just watched a short, highly magnified clip from a recent video that I published where I demonstrate how to use your cell phone to record images that you see in your eyepiece. Now, I happen to have been observing the moon with my C11 telescope, and when I re-watched the video, I saw something moving across the field of view. It was very small, it took a long time to travel the distance, and it got me wondering, what the heck is this? So let's take a closer look at the footage. Okay, we're going to start with the actual footage from the IP. So the object's very small, and I'm using green arrows to show you where you should be looking to see this. And I, hopefully that's pretty clear. Now, we're going to do it again, same magnification. This time I'll give you a red arrow showing you the path, and now you can follow. And there it is. This is a very small object. It appears to be tumbling. It is not shiny. And you know what? It got me thinking. Two days later, there was an announcement from Japan that a scientist had captured a rock slamming into the moon. And here's some footage. Unfortunately, this is footage from 2023. Their story's out of date. But it got me to thinking, is it possibly a, a space rock? So let's go ahead and take a closer look. This time I zoom in, and you should be able to follow it by now. And sure enough, it's there, and uh, it's not shiny. It seems to be tumbling, and I still wondered, can this be a space rock? So I went to Cloudy Nights, and everybody in the Cloudy Nights said, no, it's a bird. So I took an even closer zoom in. And as I was watching it, I said to myself, a bird? Could this be a bird? And then whoop! I noticed it go out of its linear formation. And you know what? This happens to be a bird. I shared a snippet of the video on cloudy nights and I got some interesting feedback from fellow members. After posting it, one member was kind enough to respond with a link to some cool bird facts. There are many that can fly at high altitudes, including some above 30,000 feet. Here we see a vulture, a crane, a flock of geese, even a hummingbird. And another member provided some sage wisdom and a reminder of the power of psychology. It's simply too hard to get your head wrapped around the concept of something as small as a hummingbird and something as distant as the moon sharing the same field of view in your telescope. But rest assured, this UFO sighting is debunked.